So by now you've likely heard the very sad, devastating news that Michael Brooks has passed away. It was reported on by the TMBS account. The majority report put out a statement. We lost him suddenly and he's 100% going to be missed. If you don't know who Michael Brooks is, and I'm sure most of my audience do, he was an incredibly important creator. He worked on the majority report with Sam Cedar, but he also had his own channel and had a lot of other projects. And I just want to take some time to personally talk about why he was so important to me and so inspirational to me. People that are closer to him are going to have much more important things, more heartfelt things to say, but I just wanted to kind of air my few reasons why Michael meant a lot to me. First and foremost, he was very kind to me on a personal level. For those who don't remember, I started YouTube, you know, just over a year and a half ago. And Michael, right from the beginning, even when I had, you know, a couple thousand subs, maybe even less, you know, followed my account, would often share my stuff, would often be more than happy to answer questions. And when I was still just, again, a very small channel, he had me on his show and he was extremely kind. He didn't treat me like I was some sort of afterthought guest that he was just going to shunt along. I felt extremely welcomed and valued on the show. And even after that, Michael was always the sort of person to mentor people. Sure, he had a lot of huge names on his show, Cornell West, Lula, so many others. But even when he had quote unquote unknown people, just regular creators and academics that didn't have a profile, you didn't really notice because Michael treated you pretty good and he treated you like an equal and he treated you like your voice mattered on the show. And so I think that personal touch really matters. There's a reason why everyone is devastated right now on Twitter. It's trending nationwide in the US. It was in Canada as well. It's because Michael wasn't just a great journalist and creator and intellectual. He was a great guy. But I think it's that that contribution he made intellectually that's incredibly important. More than any other individual creator uh, on the left tube, you know, circuit, on the left tube ecosystem. You know, you could listen and watch Michael and you would get a good grasp of what's going on. More than any other one person, if you listen to him, you'd get a good sense in the US and around the world what was happening. Of course, no voice is authoritative. No voice can tell you everything. But whereas a lot of people, myself included, tend to focus in on the US, sometimes Canada, sometimes the broader developed Western European world, Michael was one of the few creators that built an audience and was dedicated to covering issues in those countries, yes, but in Latin America, in Africa, all over the place. He did extensive coverage, often on the ground in some cases, in these countries in a way no one else was doing in the left tube sphere. No one else was doing that. And so he was actually demonstrating with real praxis that this is about more than electoral politics in the United States. It's about more than Bernie. It's about more than elections in the richest countries in the world. It's actually about an international project of socialism. And if you want to manifest that, and Michael did it better than pretty much anybody, you actually have to talk about issues in the developing world. How American capitalism and imperialism not only exploits workers at home, but abroad. And Michael actually did the work to show people that. And that was probably the greatest contribution he had because whereas there's lots of people, mainstream and especially independent, that will give you at least a partially progressive view on what's happening at home, the overwhelming nature of corporate media with issues in Latin America and in many other parts of the world is, is, is almost entirely capitalistic, almost entirely in favor of coups and other interventions against democratic governments, against socialist governments, against governments led by indigenous peoples. And Michael's work, again, was a key entry point for a lot of folks to learn more about the world and their own country's place in the world. And I think finally, one thing he did so well was networking among the left. You know, one of the things I've noted that I want to do that others need to do and should do and I need to do better at is is network the left tube scene. 
to build greater connection points, to do more collaboration between creators big and small and in between, between the more quote unquote journalistic channels and the more quote unquote theoretical channels, between the channels that are quote unquote serious and quote unquote comical. We need to build these connections because the corporate media is not going to do it for us. The YouTube algorithm more often than not won't do it for us. Our, our opponents on the right, they won't do it for us. You know, we need to build those connections. And Michael, when I think again of one individual person that just seemed to have every single person that I respect and admire and look up to here on YouTube, love him and often collaborate with him. Either he was on their channel or they were on his, you know, I, I can't think of anyone more than Michael. So again, you know, I'm devastated. I'm gutted. I, I, I shed some tears over this. I, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hide that fact. Uh, this is something that I'm probably going to take a while to get over, but I just want everyone to know that we lost someone great today and whether you had a personal connection with him or not. And again, I didn't really beyond, you know, being Twitter and, and YouTube friends. He nonetheless had an immense effect on all of us. Rest in power, Michael. We're going to miss you.